Okay, okay. So, there you go. Magandang gabi po ulit sa ating lahat. Okay, ako po ulit si Teacher Shalaline ng 5-1 Talk. At nandito po ako sa pa Nandito po ako ngayong gabi para magbigay po sa inyo ng panibagong update regarding po sa aking position sa naturang kumpanya. Okay, so last, in my last video, um, video update about 5-1 Talk, um, ang, naganap, ang nangyari po doon is that I told you that, uh, that I'm only a starting teacher. Okay, and then I, I book a training, refresher training kasi yung kailangan para ma-promote ka sa pagiging newly sa pagi uh, for the next level which is the newly qualified teacher and fortunately and fortunately okay ang nangyari po last um Saturday okay Saturday po ako nagtrain um pasado po ako and then I aside from that nalaman po namin na dapat pala mas muna pa namin i-take yung BK12 kasi po yung refresher training it also includes BK12 refresher kaya ang nangyari po aside po sa pagiging uh, aside po sa promotion ko for newly qualified teacher naging newly um, BK12 BK12 tag teacher na rin po ako so ipapakita ko po sa inyo ngayon yung aking profile ito na eto na po <laughs> sorry po medyo nabubulol ako okay so there you go okay so yan po yung profile ko medyo lina yan po so yes you can see there Okay, I am a BK12 tag teacher. Papaliwanag ko po later kung anong incentive niyan. And as for the level, isa na po akong newly qualified teacher. Okay, mababasa nyo rin po dyan. Upgrade, I need 94 lessons kasi po, kapag newly qualified teacher ka na, you need to, uh, hindi, gaya po na sabi ko sa last video, di ba, sumobro na po ako. Ang requirement lang po doon, okay, for starting teacher to be qualified as a newly qualified teacher, okay, kailangan lang po ng 30 lessons, okay, and then you have to finish all the video trainings in the training guide and then refresh your training. But it so happened that sumobar na po ako, umabot po ako ng 98 lessons before po ako na promote. So, ang sabi ko sa last video ko, I hoped na yung sumobrang 68 na lessons, sana pumatak na doon sa susunod na level ko for promotion, okay? Pero, it, hindi po ganun ang magaganap, okay? So, bago po ako ma-promote as junior teacher, I need to complete 100 lessons ulit po. 100 lessons as a newly qualified teacher. So, aside from that po, ipapakita ko rin sa inyo later kung ano po po yung mga ibang requirements para ma-promote naman po for the next level, which is junior teacher, okay? So, ngayon po, ipapakita ko sa inyo ang nangyari in terms of my pay sa 5-1 talk, okay? So, oh, sandali lang po. Okay, so there you go. Um, punta po tayo ng lesson fee summary. So, nag-training po ako ng Saturday, pero pumatak po yung promotion ko, yung bayad ko, uh, yung um, additional 4 pesos ko um, ng Sunday. Okay? Sunday. Okay, so you have here yan po. Pakita ko po sa inyo, there you go. Okay, so yan na po ang nangyari. Nung na-promote po akong newly qualified teacher, I have there an incentive of plus 4 pesos. Starting teacher, 50 pesos. Newly qualified teacher, 54. Plus yung K-12, to yung BK-12, plus 3 pesos po kapag kid ang le ang student, ang estudyante po. Okay, so pag kid lang ang estudyante. Action nga yung medyo nakakatawa, nakakatawa sa sitwasyon ko kasi... No una, I really find it hard na magklase sa mga bata because their sub experience ko, most of the students na handle ko na kids, okay, pasaway, usually hindi nakikinig, they're always playing and like that. Sinabi ko sa kaibigan ko who is, who is also a teacher sa 51 talk na nakaka-frustrate. Okay, and then gustong-gusto kong magturo sa mga adults, okay? Pero sabi niya sa akin, you would mas gugusin ko daw soon na magturo ng bata kasi nandoon yung incentive, okay? Remember guys, BK12 pa lang yun, okay? Plus 3. At kung meron ka ng JK12 training, I think they will add another 2 pesos doon. So, magiging plus 5 ng incentive mo kapag bata yung tuturuan mo, okay? And aside from that, nandiyan din po, may weekend incentive po ako. Remember, Saturday ng gabi at Sunday ng buong araw, meron tayong incentive na plus pesos present man o absent yung bata. Okay, so there you go guys. Okay, yan po ang ganap sa aking sahod ngayon. Now, let's go naman po sa aking promotion summary. Okay, so yan po. Makikita nyo po dyan na for for a newly qualified teacher, kailangan ko po ng 100 lessons and so far, naka 15 na po ako agad. 
na uh, yan lang po yung um, Saturday and Sunday lang po yan. Okay? And then you have here for training, kailangan ko po ng day 1, day 2, day 3, and so far po unfinished pa. Okay? So I think hindi ko muna magagawa yan kasi may isa pa akong pinoproblema guys. Okay? Um, kami mga bagong teachers ay kailangan mag-undergo ng TESOL and TY, okay, check ko muna. Okay, the dalawa yun, TESOL and um, TESOL and uh, the other one is... Tesol and the other one is, oh, uh, it's, basta dalawa po yun, Tesol and T-E-Y-L, -T -E T-E-F-L po yun. Okay, so ang nangyari po, um, na-receive ko po yung access ko sa portal ng training, training website namin noong June 18, but then kanina kanina ko lang po nalaman through sa group chat namin sa Skype ng mga um, kapares kong teacher ng 5-1 Talk na, required kaming tapusin siya until Jan, June 23, uh, June 30 only. So, imagine, hindi ko alam, hindi ko pa nasimulan because I'm busy busy rin po kami sa school right now. We're conducting different reading tests sa mga sudyante namin. Hindi kami matapos-tapos, okay? And so, hindi ko po alam kung paano ko siya isisiksik sa schedule ko. Thankfully naman po, thankfully, um, medyo malawag po ang Saturday and Sunday, kaya baka la, um, karirin ko siya during that time pero sana matapos ko and then guys kay tandaan niyo itong tesol uh, i say it's tesol but then it's they, they're saying it's tesol okay so tesol tesol whatever um ito pong training na ito po nag inquire na ako before okay and then ang um, rate po dito yung maabot ng 25,000 sa bagyo po yun kasi pangasinan po ako sa bagyo po yun so 25,000 po yun okay and then aside from that syempre yung pamasahe mo pa Okay, kasi yung, yung, ang iniisip po before, itetake ko yung class every Saturday. So, imagine po kung every Saturday ako babiyahe doon, I would spend more or less, sabi na natin, 500 pesos per Saturday. Um, biyahe pa lang po yung biyahe and food. And syempre yung pagod ko pa. ba So, I think, kayanin na natin okay, para masaya. Okay, para makatipid and then of course certification yun magamit mo yun okay sayang din okay so yun muna guys ang update ko for now kasi 7.20 na my first class will start ng 7.30 and yung sudyante ko naman dito <laughs> is regular ko na po pero she's an adult okay so wala akong incentive as BK12 teacher but then happy naman ako kasi madali siyang kausap and our class is really 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 fun okay so, yun lang po muna. I have to say goodbye for now. See you again in my next videos. Bye!